हेलो 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 गुड मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग पीपल एम आई ऑडिबल हां ऑडिबल सर एम आई ऑडिबल सर यस 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 यू आर ऑडिबल सर ओके सो एज पर आवर प्लानिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द मॉक इंटरव्यू एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गो इन फॉलोइंग प्रोसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कंडक्ट द इंटरव्यू Sir. and after finishing i will declare that uh, interview has been finished and yes. then uh, uh, i will give you feedback after the interview so this will be the procedure we will follow sir and uh, we, uh, like this we will continue okay sir okay. so i think uh, you guys uh, have entered in a second phase of your program right yes sir okay so i'm assuming the python has been complete uh, completed yes sir Okay. So, uh, first of all, I would like to initiate with a very important topic of uh, Python, that is uh, classes. Sir. Okay. So, I want to know from your side that what exactly means mean by classes in Python and what is its role. Sir. Ah, uh, sir, classes is a uh, basically an object. Uh, classes objects are created where multiple types of data can be assigned and uh, and once it is defined uh, then we can use this class object in the main program by uh, while doing further operations in the class object we can also define multiples of functions which are called as methods class methods and when uh, if somebody wants to uh, <coughs> use that particular function Uh, while you while in the program he can use this class method and uh, get the desired output sir okay uh what is uh, what is the purpose of using classes uh the purpose of using classes is uh, uh, uh like uh, other data types like when we have uh, lists or we can say dictionaries where multiple type of data are used but in classes we can uh, define the class for a particular set of operation and we can uh, uh, hide many of the internal operations in the while we define the class so that the programmer doesn't have to repeat that program uh, every time and if the program is less cluttered okay uh just word wise i would like to know Yes. Sir. Uh, what exactly mean by object-oriented programming? Just word-wise, and I'm not expecting much explanation. Yes, Only sir. just word-wise, I would like to know. The object-oriented program means the very basic by just slitting into it. Object-oriented. The program will be run on the object. Program will run on the object. The, uh, everything will on the program will be done to on that object itself. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, fine. Uh, then, according to you, what is exception handling and what is its role? Uh, sir, exception handling uh, is uh, like while running the program. Uh, if there is certain error, uh, uh, like if you have a syntax error, whatever error, zero division error, something like that, so the program will not run successfully. But while uh, defining, uh, while writing the program. if the programmer foresees that this sort of error will happen by the user while he enters a data which is not uh, basically computable or uh, will not give the desired output in the program he will predefine a exception so that the user user of the program will get by default uh, this is your error you have to correct your input so that proper output is uh, what you want to do through this program is uh, given uh, to you as an output what are the predefined error according to as you said there are certain predefined errors yes. so what are the various uh, built in errors uh, like you can say uh, value error suppose i have defined a particular variable as an integer and while entering the program the user enters an alphabet or a special character so mm. then the value will say uh, the the normal program will say value error because this is not the predefined value for with the this is not the predefined, predefined. है ना तो वैल्यू एरर आएगा उसमें व्हेन ही फील्स दी इनकरेक्ट इनपुट इनकरेक्ट इनपुट फॉर्मेट फॉर एग्जांपल कैन यू एक्सप्लेन विद द एग्जांपल इट्स लाइक आई गिव यू आई डिफाइंड अ वेरिएबल एज इंट 
and so that and while doing the program i do all the program as an integer value but when i take ask the user to give the input he gives an alphabet or a special character other anything other than an integer so at that time the program will not give a uh, resultant output and it will uh, in the back end it will give the value error so the front end doesn't know the the user doesn't know what is the error he will he will be expecting an output by predefining such type of exceptions the programmer gives the user that this is the incorrect thing that you have done and if you type it like this the correct output will be given so what is the purpose of uh, uh, means uh, as you said that uh, we have to find uh, we have to resolve the error uh, so uh, resolving error means what exactly will happen and what will be the outcome of that not output uh, i am as i am saying outcome sir uh, can you please rephrase the question i am just trying to say, uh, understand uh, as you said uh, that there are certain predefined errors Yes, and the uh, program will tell us that uh, in the in the according to you, as you said that in the back end uh, error will come but in front end no uh, user won't able to understand what actually happening so we yes. have to find out certain resolution so that we can give a have, we can give a proper result right yes sir so uh, that's what i'm saying uh, <coughs> what exactly we can do with the help of exception handling yes and so, what will be the outcome of Uh, this process not yes how yes sir so once we uh, uh, we anticipate basically we anticipate that this might of this kind of error will happen in case of uh, certain in, uh, incorrect entries by the user so we can give an exception command wherein a specific instructions or a remark will be uh, printed in the output statement so that the user will get to know ki this is the error uh, which is faced by the program when we input this like in case of just i explain the integer if he uh, enters an alphabet or so i can give a uh, output outcome like keep uh, the entered input is not correct or not in the correct format or not uh, in the correct uh, type and uh, so then he will understand ki this is the mistake error and i'll again re enter the correct input means exactly whom correct sir he means exactly whom the, the the user the user will get the output okay like i have written a function 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and it will give 2 but the person inputs 1 plus a so it will not give 2 but instead in this case when he inputs a he will give the error ki exception error ki you have entered this please enter input as an integer so he will again enter one and then will he will get the successful output the thing which you have told me according to that uh... program will be halt there or program will be terminated there no sir once or we use... program will continue and uh, what will exactly happen ha sir in exception handling like if you don't give this exception handling if you don't use the exception handling uh, features of the python the program will terminate but if you use exception handling program will run giving an output to the uh, user uh, which will then ask him to enter a new output a new input so that the program will again run and give a successful output the program will not be terminated uh, it will be terminated back end in the program language where we use the exception but once he re enters the correct input program will again run and give him successful output okay uh, then in case of uh, classes yes, what sir. is underscore init underscore means underscore underscore init underscore underscore what is that keyword Uh, sir uh, i don't uh, correctly recall what we, uh, we do but when we do the syntax definition in it i think it is for the initialization but i am not sure sir uh, i i don't recall that exactly sir <coughs> okay miss uh, you, you don't know what is the role of yes. that or what is the purpose yes, of i think it is initialization of the class ki it has to be initialized with this these variables but i am not so sure so i would like to get back to you on this sir what the exact role of init is and how the exact is okay uh then uh, there is another word we mostly use in the case of class that is called self so what exactly mean by that what is exactly mean by that self sir uh, self correct sir yes yes sir so when we uh, define a particular class so we uh, while defining the class we assign various types of variables in that class so like a particular uh, so 
so the keyword for the class is the name of the class the name mukul it's like my name is there mukul but i have various uh, qualities or as a uh, qualities with me that is or uh, what i can say attributes towards me that is my name uh, my age my date of birth my place of birth so while uh, defining those uh, these words self so self dot age self dot place of birth self dot so these are self is utilized to use the assignment for the various attributes and then it can be used in the class operation for various methods and various functions that we have to use in the class and then it will help to resolve uh, uh, use the class the self will denote the various attributes so to the class so it will denote various attributes of the class whatever the attributes are there of that particular class variables in the class which are there uh, just like an explained a person or uh, say a machine which has several types of attributes to it so if the class the self dot that attribute will assign that this attribute is of that particular thing self class but why use why we use uh, self the purpose of writing self as a prefix uh, sir uh, then <clears throat> while because when we define the class and we define the name uh, particular name in the beginning uh, of the class the title of the class we don't know uh, the uh, because once we then use the class function in the program we don't have to again redefine so once i defined uh, a particular variable with the class uh, with the class object then when we assign the variable in the back end the self will take care of the attribute the self will then take care self will be resultant See if I say a is equal to class C attribute is assigned to class and class has a five attribute. So automatically once the class function is started, so a dot one, a dot two, all the five attributes of that a will basically enter into the self command. <laughs> But actually, uh, you are telling me the procedure of uh, using self. the self, right? Where to use yes. and how to use. I am asking the purpose why you why we use. Uh, <coughs> you are telling me the procedure. Where yes, and how to use self, but yes, I am sir. asking you the purpose. हम किसलिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं self ये word. अगर नहीं करते तो क्या होता है? क्या होगा या क्या होता है? Sir, I'm frankly बताएँ sir, I missed the issue, the class, uh, or I think the class. So I am not uh, and uh, I did not. Uh, get to understand the purpose of self however later on i use the self command but i don't exactly know what how the you uh, self parameter is used uh, i think it is basically used as a reference for the class thing uh, for the class attribute self it's a ref, it gives a reference to of that particular thing uh, okay uh, there are certain keywords uh, like pass then break and continue so yes, can we use a pass keyword while writing a pro class program or object oriented program using classes or while defining the class method yes sir i think we can use pass uh, keyword sir means you are thinking only you are not sure right no i am not sure sir but i think we can use pass because What i have not come across a program where i have used pass command you said you, you think we can use pass then yes, suppose sir. as per your thinking if we use pass in a method of the class what actually will happen that's what i'm saying sir because i have not come across a program where i had to use a pass function or the pass the <coughs> program so i don't recall how do i use pass we have used break we have used continue but we have not used pass at least i have not come across a program where i had to use pass function sir okay uh then if uh, in case of uh, uh what we uh, module yes sir so according to you what do you mean by <coughs> module what is the what are the modules sir modules are basically a collection of various uh, instructions and commands in which we have we can define various uh, operations that we need to uh, execute as various functions and we import that particular module in the main program then we don't have to again write the entire instructions again and we can simply use the instruct uh, the functions of the module 
and use them in your uh, use them in our main program so what exactly is the module module is a program or module is a file or uh, no, module is just a word no sir module is a set of instructions which is saved as a file py file and then when we want to use those module we import in the main program using the keyword import and then we can use it uh, in our main program so as you said we can use uh, we can import it by using a keyword uh, keyword import so yes, if i write a word import so uh -huh. what actually happened by uh, means what which action is taken by python interpreter if suppose because right. uh, after all programming is a code right yes, so sir. Yes, sir. writing a code so yes, if sir. we write a import keyword yes sir so what the uh, what action will be taken by the python interpreter sir uh, once uh, if you import uh, uh, a particular uh, what i can say module so first it will check whether it is there in the system by default in the system uh, module where where are many as various modules are predefined in the uh, system library itself so if it checks it's over there it will directly import otherwise if it is not there it will then uh, look into the file location that we have given and then it will fetch that import file and then uh, all these uh, functions will be uh, executed uh, not executed but stored stored by the uh, interpreter uh, for using in the main program so once it will not again go back and read the file everything will be imported and stored in the program uh, by the interpreter and so then it be imported means exactly what you can can you put some light on that uh, everything uh, will be, uh, will be imported means an object an object will be created of that particular module and kept ready by the interpreter so as and when it is called upon in the main program it will straight away go to that particular object and fetch that function and use it in the main program uh suppose if uh, we want to import a particular variable or just particular function from yes, a module then yes, what sir. may be the procedure to call that particular active uh, particular thing again i am repeating suppose we have a module yes sir and uh, if i want to call just a single variable or just a function from the complete module Yes, then sir. what may be the procedure the procedure if say what you what, write as a in the uh, statement sir first of all i will import that particular module say num, like we have the math, so i will write import math and uh, suppose then i have to perform a particular function like summation or subtraction whatever it may be so for that if i have to <coughs> uh, give the variables of sum and all so i will just give uh, the uh, i will call like math module to math dot whatever the function name is and in bracket i will push the variables in the main program if i give that if i have already input taken input of two variables a and b then i will say uh, output print if i just want to print to print uh, output of that uh, math dot that particular function name and in bracket i will uh, give those variables name and then the output will be coming so uh, suppose just an example uh we want to perform a certain mathematical operation just for example right. even though right. we have the math module that is built in but yes, uh, rather than that suppose i have made a user defined module okay yes sir yes sir uh, for performing certain mathematical calculations correct sir and uh, in that i have made a facility that what are the uh, uh, what are all the mathematical calculation i want i want to go for i have yes, written sir. all the programs in that and basic Correct. operation suppose addition subtraction multiplication floor division module yes sir okay. so modular not module yes, yes sir uh, so uh, up, uh, among from that if i only uh, mm -hmm. want to call multiplication and modulo function from that complete file how i should call then uh, if we know this particular function name and the module name then we can write from module name import that particular function okay and then use it so uh, as you said that we have to write from module name 
import, import that particular function name. So in front of that function, do we have to apply uh, provide the module name or no, sir. No, sir. Once we have imported a specific function of a module hmm. from this from module command, then we need we don't have to use that math dot module sort of a thing math dot function. We can hmm. straight away use the function name. Uh, then I just told her, sir. Sir, am I audible again, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Just hold on. I will try. Sir, there was. Yes, sir. Electricity chale gayi thi mere aage. So backup Wi-Fi pe chal gaya. Okay. okay. So, मतलब इंटरव्यू कंडक्ट कर सकेंगे या क्या? हाँ 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 कंडक्ट नहीं नहीं कंडक्ट बैकअप Wi-Fi है ना सर कर दिया हो गया. Okay. Uh, uh, what uh, uh, I want you to write uh, before that, I want to ask you uh, one another question regarding uh, functions. Uh, there are the, there is a particular <laughs> word called uh, argument, right? In case of function. Yes, sir. There is a word called <laughs> argument. <laughs> In case of functions, right? Sir. Yes, sir. So, what are the various types of arguments? Hello, 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 hello. 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 हेलो 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 डू रोज इट सर सर वो डिस्कनेक्ट हो रहा था सर अभी आ रही है सर आवाज सर हाँ हाँ मैं ये पूछ रहा था कि व्हाट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट इन केस ऑफ फंक्शंस सर फंक्शंस आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर बेसिकली दी वैल्यूज दैट आर सेंड टू दी फंक्शन व्हेन इट इज कॉल्ड सर सॉरी सो व्हाट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स सर इट इट विल डिपेंड इट विल डिपेंड ऑन द फंक्शन सर uh, all types of uh, data types can be fitted to the where no, uh, asking types of the uh, means data type I am asking types of argument not data types. Mm. <coughs> sir, I don't know sir. Oh, so okay, fine. Uh, I'm just ending the interview session now. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, it's time for the feedback. So I would like to initiate the, about the feedback. Sir. Uh, the thing is, uh, yeah, concept wise, uh, you are uh, very much better. Concepts sir. are uh, very good, but uh, certain things need to be thorough, just like, uh, you know, uh, if you are using class, just like uh, we have, uh, means I have asked you very simpler things in but case of the class, uh, right? Yes, sir. So oh, just like a uh, self and in it. So yes, these are the basic or the basic structure of uh, class programming. Yes, sir. Means yes. Class uh, object oriented programming. Yes. We are defining any class. This yes, is sir. very uh, really basic thing. And yes. if you are not sure about it, you won't able to make a proper class program. Means object oriented program. Yes, sir. Right. So you have to make a good read of it and at least understand the basic that what is um, 
programming Yeah, a very important thing is uh, the one thing i have observed in case of you uh, yes. you mostly try to answer in a programming way means just like the way we write any program correct sir you try to answer in that way but yes, what i am expecting that you must answer the purpose means uh, why we are doing it yes Because theoretical way mein answer hona chahiye purpose of that no no not theoretically you knows the purpose of that you will be able to make a proper program accordingly yes sir because you previously <coughs> i have given you uh, as a feedback via in the internship session your yes, output comes yes sir but the way of programming is not a proper it is not a good approach of programming you always write a program in a very longer manner yes sir the program should be sweet, sweet and short means minimum number of lines but output should be the same yes, and also i have told you the purpose of that while, while you are working in a team first of all any bug appears in your program yes. your program should be readable by either you or your team member and if it is readable it can be easily fixed if your program is too lengthy it is first of all it will take too much time to read and secondly because i have observed the name of variation name of the variables whichever you have, you give just give you give any randomly just like x y z and all those yes, but it won't make your program readable correct sir. program should be readable readable means uh by if either you or your team member in a company if yes. they want to fix any bug or if yes. they want to, if a client has given you any modification in your program or they have given you any condition so yes. by reading the program easily anyone means any developer could understand what uh, what ex- how means what exactly written in a program and how quickly he can fix the bug yes sir and always use the shortest method shortest way so yes, that's sir. what i'm saying you are giving the answer but that has very much good flavor mm. of or the punch of programming way not the actual purpose way i'm expecting yes. the purpose of particular thing yes sir okay yes sir okay so that's uh, that's uh, all from my end uh, as of now so i am ending the session thank you sir thank you thank you